Welcome to Hands On ERP.com. This is Hassan Mir, and we will talk about introduction to Oracle Financials. Objectives of this tutorial are to give you an overview on ERP, Oracle Applications, and Oracle Financials. We'll talk about Oracle Financials modules and how modules talk to each other. We'll also talk about Oracle Corporation. Let's start with ERP. ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning. Um, actually, ERP is a special category of software that manages your whole enterprise. A company typically consists of departments, and each department would need some kind of a software to manage its um, information. So, ERP would consist of different modules. Each department would be using one or two modules of the ERP software to manage its end-to-end uh, -end solution. Um, so as a as a whole, the whole company would be using the ERP, but each department would be using part of ERP. So the small circle um, in this diagram are representing the part of ERP that each department is using, and the bigger uh, ERP uh, uh, at the top left corner, the bigger circle is representing that whole company is using the ERP software. So just keep that in mind that ERP is not like one software, it has parts uh, or modules. Each module is a standalone software which is used by different departments. Okay. So who are the leading ERP vendors out there? Oracle and SAP are the largest uh, uh, player uh, and uh, Oracle's Software is called Oracle e Business Suite. It used to be known as Oracle Applications. SAP software is called My SAP ERP. It used to be known as SAP R3. Uh, PeopleSoft and JD Edwards are also big player in ERP market. But Oracle purchased JD. Uh, Oracle purchased uh, PeopleSoft. So now PeopleSoft is also managed by Oracle Corporation. PeopleSoft has already acquired JD Soft. Uh, JD Edwards before Oracle Corporation has purchased PeopleSoft, therefore Oracle Corporation is now maintaining all these three uh, ERP, Oracle, eBusiness Suite, PeopleSoft and JD Edwards. Lawson is also a big player in ERP market. Microsoft also makes uh, an ERP software which is not really an ERP because it's not very scalable but it is used by small to medium sized companies. It's called Microsoft Dynamics. It used to be known as Microsoft Business Solutions. Let's talk about Oracle eBusiness Suite or Oracle applications. Okay, so we can divide Oracle eBusiness Suite into further uh, groups. So Oracle Financials, Oracle Manufacturing, Human Resources, etc. So Oracle Financial is a group within eBusiness Suite. So eBusiness Suite is the name of a larger, uh, uh, a larger uh, uh, group of groups okay so I'm going to tell you in a in a bit why I'm calling Oracle Financial a group the reason is that Oracle Financial is nothing but a simply uh, a name of five modules that are part of Oracle uh, Financial so these five modules are actually standalone applications and together they are called Oracle Financial similarly there are other standalone applications as well and they have been uh, put in various groups uh, based on uh, the area they cater to. For example, Oracle Manufacturing is nothing but it's simply a group of uh, individual standalone applications. So all these groups together are called Oracle eBusiness Suite. So Suite is a is a proper word uh, uh, used here. So let's talk about Oracle Financials. Okay, so Oracle Financials. Oracle Financials, as I said, consists of five uh, modules. So module and applications are synonym, uh, so you can say Oracle Financial consists of uh, five applications. Now, uh, let's talk about these five applications. Okay, so a company, uh, a typical company would have vendors, would have customers, and it would deal with the banks, and it would be a requirement for the company to manage all these external entities. Okay, so there is a module uh, in Oracle App Financials uh, that cater to each of uh, this need of, uh, of that company. Okay, so for example, to manage customers, uh, a module called Accounts Receivable is a, uh, is used now uh, known as Oracle Receivable. Similarly, to manage vendors, a module called Accounts Payable 
or Oracle payables that is used um, and cash management or Oracle cash management is used to manage your banks okay so uh, there is another module called fixed assets or Oracle assets uh, that is used to manage assets of the company assets could be anything like laptop computers building etc and finally general ledger module the most important module is used to manage the accounting of the company okay now what is accounting I've prepared a separate tutorial for that uh, but for now just understand accounting is simply uh, a measurement of uh, quantitative measurement of the business events that are taking place so accounting would tell you how much profit you have made how much expenses you have incurred how much assets and liabilities uh, uh, you incurred in the last month or last last year and things like that so um, so all the information flows uh, from different modules all the accounting information flows into this general ledger module which manages the accounting and all the reports financial reports are run out of general ledger module that tells anybody uh, about the health of the company okay so it's a recap uh, we have accounts payable module uh, which is now known as Oracle payables it's used uh, by the company to manage the vendors so this module will will tell the company what you have purchased from which vendor have you paid on time or what method you used for payments and things like that uh, similarly accounts receivable module now known as Oracle receivables helps you manage your customers so this module will tell you who bought what from you have has the person paid or has that organization paid uh, you uh, what was the method payment method and what is the credit rating and things like that um, like cash management module known as Oracle cash management uh, helps you reconcile your bank statement at the month end it would tell you uh, like has the bank has made any error or not or have you, are your books in sync with the bank and how many bank accounts you have and what's the status of the bank account etc etc and um, so Oracle assets uh, or fixed asset used to be known as is a module of Oracle Financial that lets you manage your assets so this module will help you answer questions like which asset is located at what location which employee is using that asset what has been the depreciation expense of the asset so it's a technical term I will help you understand that in my assets tutorial so depreciation is an expense that each asset incurs um, etc etc and uh, finally uh, like it's a recap general ledger module helps you uh, manage your accounting uh, so accounting is uh, nothing but a, a quantitative measurement of the business events that are taking place uh, everything at, at the end of the day gets translates into a, uh, debits and credits and uh, a GL accounts so all these three things together uh, in, in, in the reports uh, helps you make the decision the business decisions and uh, and tells you about the health of, health of the company okay so quickly I'll talk about modules interfaces um, so like modules talk to each other that's the only point I'm trying to uh, make here uh, so the information flows from one module to another so as I just give you an example all the accounting information flows from all the modules into general ledger uh, invoices etc flows from accounts payable to into fixed assets so the assets are automatically created so the here point is not uh, to explain you what kind of information flows so I just want to tell you that modules talk to each other um, although they are standalone software but the strength comes when they talk to each other so that's why uh, companies implement the whole ERP uh, in each of their department okay so uh, this difference between uh, flowing of information from one module to another as we saw in the last slide here I'm trying to explain you that data is also shared among modules so in order to uh, prevent the uh, the, uh, the duplication for example if you have created a bank in cash management you don't have to create another bank in accounts payable and receivable the same information will be shared it will be only stored at one place so redundancy uh, is uh, produced this way okay so few words about Oracle Corporation it's the second largest software company in the world after Microsoft it's the largest database vendor their popular database is Oracle Corporation they are a very old company founded in 1977 older than Microsoft and uh, they sell uh, different kind of products they sell database 
that is Oracle database most popular they also make uh, self development tools programmers use development tools to create applications or software so Oracle not only sell development tools they also sell pre-built applications Oracle also sell middleware middleware is something is a software on which large scale applications run uh, for the uh, for the sake of scalability uh, these large applications run on middleware um, so uh, what kind of applications Oracle Corporation sell most of the applications that Oracle Corporation sell are ERP application the only ERP written by them is Oracle eBusiness Suite now they're also uh, they're creating a new ERP called Oracle Fusion uh, which is not a new version of Oracle eBusiness Suite it's, it's going to be a different uh, ERP software altogether. They purchased PeopleSoft as a result they acquired JD AdWords. So Oracle Corporation is currently maintaining four ERPs so uh, that is a, a pretty uh, hefty task. So they also acquired Siebel which was number one CRM software. CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management Software. Uh, they also acquired Retag which was number one retail management software. So they are all, they are all applications uh, that Oracle sells.